This is Twit. Now, should I... Uh, okay. EGPU is engaged, I believe. Uh, yes, it is. Um, shall I play some music? Let's do it. All right. Uh, oh, yep. I can't control the sound. That's a good sign. Actually, what I want to do is reduce the size of this, though, so that I can see the eGPU going. I don't hear anything. Do you hear anything, Carson? Oh, my God. Turn it down, you kids. So, yeah, look at the throttle. Oh, no, that's the voltage. Never mind. 4 gigahertz, 3.69 gigahertz. Temperature is actually cool, a cool 75 degrees Celsius. Why, it's balmy. It's like the surface of Mars. <laughs> so I don't know how many tracks there are. There seems like quite a few here. This is the uh, Beck demo uh, that comes with Logic. Seems to be handling it quite well. What should I do to to, to, ch to challenge it? I think it's it? the effects, right? It's like the alchemy stuff, I think. That, oh, uh, add some effects. All right, that, that's beyond my scope. Seems to be working. Mm -hmm. Not throttling. Of course, I have the eGPU on. I don't know. I also have, should I run a? Maybe I should run a movie while we're doing this. <laughs> Let me run Handbrake. I can just. Uh, I can bring it to its knees. Watch. <laughs> Actually, this would be a good test of whether um, Handbrake. It whether the patch fixes. So now I'm going to start transcoding. Let's see. I need to get a uh, encode pending. So what do we want to encode it as? Fast. Let's not do fast. Let's do it. Let's encode it for super high quality. Why not? In surround sound. The Magic Christian, ladies and gentlemen. Now how much would you pay? Look at that temperature at 100 degrees instantly. And the processor. Mm. Now at nominal. Oh, it stopped at three gigahertz. Oh, it's coming back. I'm doing logic and transcoding the Magic Christian at extreme quality. Maybe the patch did make a difference. Look at that. That's awesome. Look at that. This uh, on Saturday we uh, we were able to bring the processor to its knees, even just transcoding. Now I presume it's using the eGPU, right? Is there any way to know that? I mean, you could unplug it and run it and see what it looks like. Unplug it. No <laughs> way. You saw what happened again, last time. Never again. <laughs> eject it. Sorry, I meant eject it. Yeah. It's uh, now at nominal 2.9 gigahertz. It's right on the line there. It's not going below it, which is interesting. And it's really, uh, it's not, it's not too hot to touch. It's hot. Okay. So there you go. You hear it playing uh, the logic without faltering you hear it trans you see it transcoding that's good enough for me right mm. yep no andy no no I, I was i was grunting in affirmation and also uh, acknowledging that when you get to performance of this kind it's it doesn't it doesn't raise all boats in the harbor at the same time right it really depends on what you're doing and mostly m mostly the 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 explanation for all of, for these highest end pro machines is if you can figure out how much money you lost by having to wait 10 minutes for something to happen it's usually worth your investigating the newest, hottest hardware. If right, not, right. then eh, it's nice. The, the, the problem is that the, the, the performance the, the performance delta between like the entry level MacBook and the highest level MacBook has never been bigger than it has in the past two or three years. So like I will I would always buy kind of like the best MacBook I could afford because it was it's still kind of affordable. But now if you're expecting to spend uh, a, a, a multiple of uh, if you're going to if you're expecting to get a multiple of performance correlation with the multiple of money you're spending on a MacBook you might want to back off and do some more thinking. Right. Let me, uh, somebody reminded me that the iStat menu will show the GPU. Let me, uh, let me re restart all of this. Overwrite that. Start playing the music. And then let's look at iStat menu. Okay, let's move this over. Is the eGPU going here? Uh, 
560 and 580 are both seem to be in use. The 580 is the external GPU. Look at that peg right over there. How does it use both of the GPU? The, it uses the internal and the external, or is it just kind I of that? Just... So it makes like a pool, right? It gives ah, you both. Interesting. I think so, yeah. Ah, interesting. So I am pegging the CPU, as you can see. Uh, so all four or all six uh, processors are maxed, as one would expect. And uh, and the uh, eGPU is it's not maxed, but it's engaged. What do you think? And the music's playing. It all seems that all seems about right. It's this is interesting because it's done some. They I, this must be the patch. They've done something so it doesn't go below two point nine. Yeah, looks like. Yep. Look how flat that is. But won't it? But doesn't that mean thermals would be a problem or what? Maybe it's, this is the voltage solution that. How hot is it getting for you? Yeah, it's still staying underneath uh, hundred. Yeah, it's ninety-seven. They, they, again, it's flat as well. I don't think the fans are any. I mean, they're all the way up. I'm sure. It's warm. It's not unbearable. You feel the bottom. Yeah, you wouldn't want this in your lap, <laughs> unless it's a cold day. Unless you're Canadian. <laughs> unless you're Canadian. That's, that's, that's going to be a major cat attractor. Maybe, maybe that's what was causing the keyboards to fail. They're overheating. They're attracting cats. Cats sit on them. The fur screws up the keyboard. It gets too hot for the cat. The cat gets off and cools down. The cat comes back. All right. We want to thank Beck for allowing us to use your music to test the eGPU. Now, I can do all this without the eGPU, but you saw what happened last time, so I'm not going to. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's only so far I'll go. With all I really wish, by the way, that Apple would use its uh, a little bit of its cash to pay artists to do that more often. You know, to release their I songs, yeah. uh, multi-track. I think, I mean, I think that, that that could be part of a release process. You know, we're going to release the Drake album and one of the songs it doesn't have to be with the single that they're planning, but one of the album, one of the songs on the album, is actually going to be completely broken out. Um, at, in GarageBand, and, and and the GarageBand will load right into Logic. It's and such a great way to just, learn. Isn't yeah, it? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And, yeah. and, and, and I think that there's a huge opportunity to make now artists get very sensitive to it, but take it, you know, create an extra track that most of, most people have, are, have recorded more songs than what end up on the album. <laughs> so <laughs> taking one that is, that is reasonably good, uh, and, and putting it out there and, and it still sounds professional. It still sounds like something you can hear on the radio and you're not as attached to it. Like if someone started remixing it or adding it, uh, you'd be, you'd be heartbroken, but giving people that creative, being able to play with it and doing it often is something that Apple could do today. Uh, and it would, in the grand scheme of things, I mean, and they'd pay the artist an extra 50 grand or an extra 100 grand for, um, you know, you could, they could, an artist could end up paying for a lot of their recording of the entire thing um, because then it gets more people playing with GarageBand, you know, and really seeing yeah. how far, how far GarageBand can be pushed. You know, I think that's part of it. And logic. So I, I understand now what happens with the uh, you disconnect the eGPU. It effectively reboots the machine. It's it doesn't quite reboot, but it shuts every process down. Uh, in case it's you now, I use said eGPU to say every process should use the eGPU. Maybe that was a, <laughs> maybe that was a mistake. Uh, you see how getting nervous about all this stuff can just really make your life worse, right? <laughs> just don't worry about it. Spend money, enjoy. All right, I do not have an eGPU now. I am going to... I know you won't be able to see this, but you'll be able to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to one more time. I'm sorry, I hate to belabor this, but I want to become a YouTube star. Nope. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's, like, it's like starting up Airwolf. It's just yeah. a great sound. Yeah. Great sound. Yeah. You know, launch handbrake. We're going to transcode for the 50th time. Saying, hey, dudes. Hey, 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 guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, what's happening? All right, we're now transcoding. We are now logicking. We are now playing music. Now let's watch this processor and see what happens. Do you hear my music? Oh, you can't hear it. That's right. No, don't worry. We don't care about that. No, 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 no. It's not that important. It's playing. That's the main thing. And the same thing is happening, right? Which is it's flatlining the processor at 2.9 gigahertz. It's, it's kind of normal nominal speed. Is transcoding slowing down? I don't know. 
uh, temperature again fly. So this looks exactly the same as it did with the eGPU, and and it seems like everything is continuing as as it yeah. best it can. So that's good news. I feel like that patch definitely did something. I didn't have the benefit of trying this before uh, the patch, but this is behavior we'll we one, never saw. Unpatched machines, one patched machine, Leo. We'll put them in the races. Yeah. The thing, uh, and I just want to point out, and I'll do this because people are probably saying, well, wait a minute, it goes below uh, speed uh, here, but that's supposed to, when you're not doing anything, Yes, it should. That's what gets you better battery life. And notice how quickly it responds to the nothing to do. The temperature goes down very quickly. The, the voltage goes down very quickly. The utilization is now 2%. And as a result, it's it's GPU is it? I mean, the CPU is at 1.37 gigahertz. But that's because I don't need it. It's not doing anything. There's a lot of people think that slower is more efficient, but it's not. What you do in chips is race to sleep, so you get things done as yeah. fast as possible, then shut off, so you're not using any power, and that's right. the best performance you can usually get. 